Well, the Tennessee Board of Regents will no longer oversee six state universities if a bill being drafted is passed. It's all part of the governor's initiative called Drive to 55, which focuses on increasing the number of college graduates in the state. Our Jennifer Reyes is live with more on how this could change the way six state universities are operated. Jennifer. Rory, Governor Bill Haslam says the, the changes he's proposing will make our state universities more efficient and it will also help eliminate some of the red tape. Good morning, everyone. Governor Bill Haslam says his Drive to 55 initiative has been successful. At our community colleges this year, we saw a 25% increase in full-time freshman enrollment. And today, during a news conference at the state capitol, he announced another change, an effort the governor says will empower and give formal structure to local campuses. To that end, we're working on and will and we'll bring to the legislature this year the Focus on College and Universe, University Success Act. The FOCUS Act will work to create local boards at six different state universities, allowing them to appoint a campus president, manage the university's budget, and set tuition. Missions and futures of our six state universities now within TBR, from ETS in Upper East Tennessee to Tennessee State, Austin P, Tennessee Tech, and MTSU here in Middle Tennessee, to the University of Memphis, need to have more autonomy and more authority to better serve and respond to the unique needs in regional economies. Which means the Tennessee Board of Regents would no longer oversee those schools. Their main focus will be the state's 13 community colleges and 27 technical colleges. In response to today's announcement, TBR's Chancellor John Morgan released the following statement. We can expect complex and extensive conversations as this process unfolds, but our primary objective is and will remain the success of our students and I am committed to remain focused on that goal. Chancellor and I have talked um, uh, several times about this, uh, and he will obviously be a part of our ongoing discussion as we, as we step forward. The governor's internal team is still in the process of drafting this bill. Of course, it will still require legislative approval. Reporting live at Bicentennial Mall, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5.